Introducing the horses race number five this evening's first half of the twin trifecta pacing stallions and geldings. Racing one mile, no changes in this full field of ten. Number one, famous Cherokee, owned by Keith Richardson of Westchester. Mike Wilder drives. Number two, Tony's Escort, owned by Terry Hall of Franklin for Terry Groves. Three is Small Living Ash, owned by Ron Barker of Chillicothe. Justin Hall drives. Number four, Cedar Lawn Mark. Little Wesley Hilton of Huber Heights for Jeff Fout. Five is Squires Wrights, owned by Ralph Branson of Greenfield. Jerry Roberts gets the call. Number six, Gary. Owned by Anna Marshall of Washington Courthouse. Keith Haynes with the Lions. Seven is Colt Creed, owned by Donna Johnson of Columbus. Sean Mayhew drives. Eight is Happy as a Lark, owned the by Sam Comet of Lebanon. Nine, Benko Hanover, owned by the Palmpex Stables of Ottawa. Dave Stratton of the bike. And number 10, Isa Skipper, owned by Lowell Prickett of Wilmington, Tom Prickett in the Sonky. One play show perfection. Race pacing as Stallions and Geldings lining up, moving in. On the back stretch and set to go. And they're off. Cedar Lawn Mark is first to five alongside Squires Wrights. From the inside of three comes Tony's Escort off the rail fourth. Famous Cherokee slipping through five. Eyes a skipper. Smaller Ash is looking for the early seat. Sixth to the inside, pacing a seventh as they move into the first tier. That's Gary. Long to be late, Colt Creed. Ninth, happy as a lock. The early trailer tenth, Ben Kill Hinover. At the first quarter, 27 and three. Swift first quarter here. On the front, Squires Rice with the lead. Leads by five inside a second to Cedar Lawn Mark. And it's another three to Tony's Escort. Two lengths, fourth to Famous Cherokee. A length to back, eyes a skipper. Smaller Ring Ash was down inside momentarily. Right back to the outside of the passing lane is making his bid now for the front. And Gary remains along the rail seventh. Eighth to the inside comes Colt Creed. Happy as a lark gets underway ninth. And Ben Hanover can see them all as they reach the half. They're in 58 and one. Off the turn and down the back side they go and Squires Wrights in full control here by three. Inside of Cedar Lawn Mark is closing the gap steadily and here comes Smoldering Ash now charging to the outside making his bid for the lead. Eyes a skipper, hustles after that cover but gapping badly fourth. Tony's escort caught on the shuffle is locked in five and on the outside happy as a lark. Smoldering Ash is off stride as they reach that three quarters and one twenty eight and two. And Squires Wrights again up by five. Eyes a skipper. A long shot of the inside is second. Smoldering Ash right back pacing again quickly on the outside is third. Happy as a lark into striking position as they turn for home now with less than an eighth. But Squires Wrights has been cruising along here. He continues to lead by six. Squires Wrights hands down tonight. Ben Cohan over to the outside gets up for second. Squires Wright cruising home. In one fifty nine and two. Trackside, the unofficial winner, number five, Squires Wright, a six year old son of Amity Chef from Squires Daughter. Oh, then trained by Ralph Branson of Greenville, Ohio, nicely handled the dock by Jerry Roberts. Squires Wright. Winning his first season's victory, an easy win tonight, 159 and two fifths. Race five is now official. Five nine perfecta pays one hundred ninety five dollars sixty cents. One ninety five sixty. First half of the twin try five nine eight pays four hundred fifteen dollars thirty cents. Four fifteen thirty.